welcome children of standard 10th subject english today we are going to do the unit 1.6 we are going to do first this lesson and then we will do later 1.5 chapter so let us go to the lesson of the alchemy of nature children first page that is 37 that is warming up if you check over here there are some questions which we will be doing together rearrange the good qualities in each set so that the first letter of each of the words should make a meaningful word join the sets and get message so here we have got some words which are related to nature so see if you see the first words first word underlined word is u the underlined letter is u in the same manner all the words the first letter is underlined so we will have to make a word out of it some word which will have some meaning so what word can be made make from this nature right now next set is to selfless inspiring now if you try to make a word from this you have to interchange the first you have to interchange the words suppose you have to write inspiring and selfless so what does what inspiring starts with i and selfless starts with s so what word you will make it as is right now set 3 youthful modest over here also we will interchange the words and if i interchange what happens it becomes my correct now set 4 over here also same thing the words which are given over here same way you have to find out a word from the first alphabet so we get some word over here which is very very important according to the lesson so what it can be it will be teacher so what is the message of your children we get the message that nature is my teacher so mostly whatever we are doing in this lesson we are going to learn things from nature so that is why this lesson we have to do very important it is now next question is various aspects of nature have special features that make them differ from one another features means characteristics example they have given you about birds in that they have given you you have to find out the different characteristic for for example appearance shape color size food habits habitat sound etc in the same manner you have to write for land water trees animals and insects so first one i will do with you and the rest ones you will do it yourself for example for land we can write size or fertility and also size first word we can write fertility then we can write size then we can also write shape or soil we can write many words you can write physical uh, geographical features we can write color shape appear whatever we want to write there are many words which we can add so in the same manner for water you can also write any word like purity you can write taste you can write so you this this question you will be doing it on your own right children now third question is make a list of living creatures in the alphabetical order you can write more than one beginning with the same letter so with a we can write for example ant in the same manner you have to complete this whole thing on your own so let us children b we can write bees in the same manner for c you can write on your own so let us go to the lesson now children this lesson is written by raksha baradia raksha baradia is an indian writer she highlights in this poem in this lesson importance of nature in our lives the writer tries to explain how humans can learn lesson of life by observing different features of nature and how she has learned wonderful and amazing lessons from it now children first of all let us know the meaning of the alchemy alchemy means miracles one which is magical so if we see the first lines that first four lines these lines are written by the poet william blake william blake is also a great poet and he is also telling us about the nature 
So let us check what he says and the meaning of that is given down below. To see a bird in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. So first, first line what, what we understand to see a world in a grain of sand. Grand, grain of sand is very very small but then even we can see the magic or miracle of nature in it. Second is the and a heaven in a wild flower. Wild flower does not give us anything but then even there is something which is made by God. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand. Infinity means that which is endless. In the palm of your hand, that means your destiny. Your destiny can be hold, held up with your own way. And eternity in an hour. Eternity means that which is endless, that which is not going to end. Eternity in an hour means in one hour also things can change. So if you see the meaning over here, the meaning is given over here. Something as tiny as a grain of sand can spark off an idea. Spark means light off, fire off, an idea or imagination of a huge significance to the world. Meaning, one can witness, witness means prove and find out and experience the beauty of heaven in something as small as wild flower and derive joy forever. Though the wild flower does not give us anything, but then even looking at it, we find that it is very important for us. Why? Because from that we come to know what are the changes made by nature. Only one should have the eyes and time to see it. That means if at all we are not watching the nature, we will never understand the miracles or the magics done by nature. Infinity is endless space, but your small palm can hold the destiny of earth through your efforts. That means you can try to change your destiny on your own. Eternity is endless time but just an hour in your life can make a difference to the world forever. What makes difference to the world forever? Your great deeds which are very very important. Many times we have seen that there are many great leaders who have done great, great deeds and even today they are remembered though they are not there on this earth but then even they are remembered. So that means the time, the limit of time has no end for them because they are even remembered till today. Now we will go to the main lesson. We instinctively turn to outdoor activities and nature as a way of relaxing and enhancing our well-being. Nature soothes and nurtures, nature fulfills and motivates, nature whispers and commands. So these are the qualities of nature. Instinctive living means what? Natural instinct. We love to go out, we love to go in the open air. Why? Because we, we enjoy it. That means we enjoy nature. So when we enjoy nature, what does nature give us? The nature gives us relaxment. It enhances means improves us to look better. Then it soothes us. Soothes means gives us lot of peace or even calm. It calms us. Nurtures, nurtures means what? It helps us to grow or nourishes us. Nature fulfills and motivates. Fulfills what? Our needs. We can see that nature itself gives us everything, whatever we eat, whatever we have, we require. Motivates means encourages. So if we find nature, sometimes what happens when we go inside, when, when we are inside a room, we feel very gloomy. But when we go outdoor, we feel very relaxed and we feel very happy. Nature whispers and commands. Whispers means in the form of breeze. Commands means gives order. So we can see over here that nature is doing many things. So these are the qualities which nature does. Now, are you listening? That means we should have ear to listen to the nature. Now let us check what is written in the lesson by the writer. When I do, it leaves me in complete awe. 
O means amazement. Then, now we will try to find out with the help of slides, what are, what are the different elements which the, the writer is trying to make us understand and how we will learn. We have a hibiscus plant in our garden. Every fortnight a flower blooms on it, big, bright and tender. Through the day it smiles with the sun and dances with the wind. But as evening approaches, it starts wilting. So here we can make out that the first element of nature is hibiscus. It blooms for fortnight and then it smiles with the sun and dances with the wind. Now here smiles with the sun and dances with the wind. What is the meaning of it? It is personified. Why? Because these are the human qualities. So the human qualities are given to the flower. Actually, the flower is not dancing over here, but it is given as personification. Then it starts evening. As evening approaches, what happens? It starts wilting. Wilting means becomes dry. The morning after it withers completely and by evening it falls and becomes one with the earth again. So what happens to it? That it becomes it becomes one with the earth means it dies. So the flower comes to life only for a day, yet it does so in full splendor. What is the meaning of splendor over here? Magnificence, glow, grand. Now, what if we too lived our life however short to its fullest? Now we are, from this we can make out that what are we going to learn from this flower of hibiscus? Over here it is given, what if we too lived our life however short to its fullest. Now, meaning is, when we are living this life, when we are living in this life, we should not complain, we should not grumble. Though our life may be very short, but then even we should live and live joyfully and give joy to the world. We went to a rocky beach. Now, next element. The next element is we went to a rocky beach and saw the spread of the majestic ocean and the rocks alongside carved, sculpted and shaped by the water. Water is so gentle, rock so hard, yet as the water flows over it every day for years, the rock gives in. Now here we can see that there is a rocky beach and over there, Page number 39, continued on page number 39. Over here we can see water is very gentle. But what is what about the rocks? They are very, very hard. So now what happens to the rocks? Because the water is continuously pushing and uh, forcefully going towards it. Then what happens to the rock? It gives in. What is the meaning of gives in over here? Takes the shape according to whatever water wants to give it. So it takes the shape that the water commands. So now from, the, from this we can make out one thing. Our problems are so colossal and we are so small, yet we persist. Problems, so we are whatever difficulties we have in our life. Colossal means very huge. We have got lot of problems in our life and we feel that they are very huge. But actually if they are turned up or we can continue working on it, what will happen? They will become small. So what happens over here? We do not have to quit. We have to continuously work. Now next element of nature, that is small bits of grass. We saw small bits of grass peeping through the small cracks in a concrete pavement. Now here we can see in the slide, there is a concrete pavement and out of it, the flower is coming out, the plant is coming out. Now what do we understand from this? Peeping over here means looking out. Cracks means hole. Even if a small hole is there, opening is there, the plant can come out. So this makes us learn one more thing. It left us thinking, however impossible things may look, there is always an opening. So we are, it means that the problems which come in our life, they may be too many or there may not be many problems which can be solved. But suppose there is little hope also, 
we will be able to solve the problem. So every pro problem has a solution. Now let us see the tree. The next element is the tree. We saw a tree bare of all leaves in the cold winter months. We thought its chapter was over. So here we can see that this tree is a bare tree without the leaves. The time is cold winter months. Then what did the, uh, what, what the writer says? Chapter was over, that means it was dead. But finally what we find? But three months passed, spring set in and the tree was back to its green majesty once again. Full of leaves, flowers, birds and life. So over here we can see what is the difference, what is the magical thing, what nature does with the trees. So let us see what we learn from here. What if we too had the conviction that however difficult things right, are right now, it will not remain so forever. Remember this, too shall pass. So over here we can make out that conviction means what? Strong belief that difficult things may be very difficult now. Things are never permanent. So suppose now there is unhappiness or sorrow, but this will also pass off. Why? Because time is the only solution for it. Just as the trees, you could see the trees when they were bare, it, the person will say, think that the trees are dead now. But what happens after three months? They are again fruitful and having flowers and leaves. So children, we have learned from here many lessons. Now let us see about the other elements. We saw an army of ants lugging a fly which was at least 10 times the ants size. The ants organized themselves around the fly, lifted it on frail feelers and carried it to a quiet distance. Now over here we can see that there is a teamwork. By whom? By the, uh, by the ants. What are they trying to do? They are trying to carry the dead, uh, uh, dead fly on their frail feelers. What is the meaning of frail feelers? Thin, very thin. Actually, if you go to see, it's very difficult for them to pull or drag. But they are doing it. Why? We can learn a lesson from here. Because of their teamwork and perseverance. Why? Because, they were team, uh, uh, because there was teamwork, because there was perseverance. What is the meaning of perseverance, children? Constant effort, even if the hardships come, hindrances come, problems come, we should continuously go on working. So what if we too are consistent, organized, focused? So these are the things which we learn from the ant. Now next is the spider web. The spider webs are delicate yet very strong. So if at all you see a spider web, you can make out. But from outside we feel that it is very, very thin and delicate. It will be easily broken. But if you go to see, it is not very easy to break. The next is rainbow. A rainbow colors the entire sky. Children, when we see a rainbow in the sky, what do we feel? That it is a hope for us, right? So when, when, when we try to do this, what happens? We feel that there is hope in our life. But when you see clouds, you become very gloomy. Why? Because clouds bring dullness. So that is why it is the rainbow which gives us happiness and joy. Then we come to the next one that is oysters. Oysters take in a grain of sand. They open up with a pearl. So if you have seen an oyster, in the oyster what is there? Grain of sand. So this grain of sand which is there, it is going through lot of pain, suffering, struggles and then it is changed or in the form of pearl. Now next is the innumerable stars which shine across the infinite sky. Innumerable means which are countless. Infinite means that which are limitless. So we can we count the stars? We will never be able to count the stars. But then they are the ones who are shining the whole sky. Then we come to clouds. Clouds take new shapes with every passing moment. So we can see on the slide over here that 
changes are there in the shape of the cloud. Then next is the wind makes trees dance with unhindered passion. Over here unhindered passion means what? That which is without any disturbance. Then again about water. Water without hint of ego changes its form according to the dictates of the sun and the wind. Water also takes its form without any pride because when if, if you put it in a round bowl it will change it into a round size round shape so the water also has no pride in the same manner we also should not have any pride in us but try to adjust ourselves according to the environment mm -hmm. now next one is when we see a caterpillar turn into a butterfly so here we can see that is a caterpillar which is having different stages right from the stage of the caterpillar turning into a butterfly it goes through a lot of struggle pain suffering lot of difficulties and then it turns into a beautiful butterfly so a flower turn into a fruit we experience the alchemy of nature so children if we see in this lesson we have learned many things from nature so we should also follow whatever we have learned from nature so that in our life also suppose any problems come anything comes in our life we should be able to continuously work for it struggle for it so that that will bring that will change our life that means just as the nature changes all the different elements in the same manner our own personality also will change if at all we will try to change ourselves thank you now page number 40 now we have concluded the lesson now we come to page number 40 english workshop over here we can see there are some there is a question first question what things in nature teach us the following nothing is nothing is impossible to achieve from what we have learned this from small bits of grass problems are not permanent over here from where do we learn this we learn this from a bear tree right children now be humble and adjust from what do we learn this from water right make the best use of time and opportunity that is rainbow also and hibiscus flower also so you can write both be persistent we have learned from flowing water many hands make light work means what the ants then delicate structures are not a sign of weakness this is very simple children that is spider now if you see the next question that is a flow chart uh, this uh, flow chart F flow chart flow, ch flow chart so over here we can see go through the lesson again and complete the flow chart that highlights the life of a hibiscus flower so over here we can see there are four points which we have to write from the lesson so we will first write what blooms first word is okay this question you can write it on your own because the words are already there in your textbook now fill in the web complete the fill in the web so over here they have already given us they have already given us what does nature do for human beings the first word is motivates second second word is nurtures third word is commands fourth word is whispers next word is relaxes again the next word fulfills and soothes and the last one is enhances so children with this we end up the lesson now thank you very much for listening to the lesson